You can come in. Oh, Jerry's parents. What a delight. So how's my little Jerry doing this year? <laughs> to put it in friendly terms. Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody had a good evening. Good morning, Jerry. Thank you for joining us this morning. For the first class of the day, we'll be going over Bible memory, which is due this week. Please get it done this week. Okay, everybody have a piece of paper out on their desk, and I'll be writing it on the board, and you guys can write it on your papers. For Bible memory this week, Bible memory is from Isaiah 53. Can everybody say Isaiah 53? Isaiah 53. Very good. Okay, so it starts, who has believed? Message and Jerry, if I see one more paper thing fly at this board, it's detention for you. Am I understood? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, that's it, Jerry. Oh, so how did you handle that situation? Well, it was taken care of. I just want to thank you guys for being such a good class and for all the orderly conduct that you guys have displayed in the last couple minutes. Thank you. There you have it. First-hand footage of an actual parent-teacher conference. They always scare me because you never know what the teachers are going to tell your parents. Yeah, like last year I was late to class because I accidentally dropped my math book in the paper shredder. Not the best thing I could have done. Oof. That's not the only thing that happened this month. There's also Black Friday and Thanksgiving. Yeah, I love Black Friday shopping. Me too. We also asked a few students around school what their favorite thing to do over Thanksgiving is. Here's their responses. Hello, Joella. What is a family tradition of you guys' for Thanksgiving? Uh, we like to go to my cousin's house and have Thanksgiving there, and then we will usually play um, some games after. Nice. So, Dustin, what is your favorite food for Thanksgiving? I enjoy all of it. I, I just like lots of food. Come on, you don't have one favorite? Uh, maybe turkey, but it has to be with mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Carver, what would be a family tradition that you guys do for Thanksgiving? We usually go hunting and invite the Fox family. That's cool. Hello, Mr. Stauffer. What is a family tradition of yours for Thanksgiving? A uh, family tradition of mine is that my brothers and my dad and I would all go after Thanksgiving um, to shoot the rifles in for the first day of buck season. Nice. Hey, Kenzie, so what is your favorite food for Thanksgiving? Chicken. Chicken? Oh, those were some adorable Thanksgiving responses. Also, congratulations to the high school girls varsity volleyball team who placed third in the Fairview tournament. And I got an interview with the coach, Cindy Fox, as well. All right, so as a coach, what was your favorite part of the tournament? I think I have several favorites. Um, one is just simply being with my team. Like, I love hanging out with these girls. They're so much fun. Um, two was just like seeing how everything that they have been working on for so long, I mean like the past two and a half months, long practices, hard work all came together and they went out and played really, really well. So that was really, that was, that was, that was a highlight for me. Of course, bringing home a trophy was really fun too. <laughs> yes. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No. I can't wait to like continue working with these girls and having more fun. All right. Thank you so much.
Wow, those were some great highlights. Hey, whatever happened with the sixth grade election? The great party won that, and I had an interview with the president-elect. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the sixth grade mock election winners. So how do you guys feel about your win? Very satisfied. Very satisfied that we won. That's awesome. So what was your margin of victory? We won by 5%. And how many percent of the total votes was that? 37%. Wow, that's awesome. So you guys are planning a chicken barbecue fundraiser, and how's that going to look like? It'll take place at six on January 29th from 3 o'clock to 6.20 in the, at EMS. All right, thank you so much for joining me here today, guys, and let's head back to the studio. A couple things coming up here in December for you guys. The Christmas program that had previously been scheduled for December 10th is no longer going to happen due to COVID restrictions. However, we are planning to pre-record a virtual program. We have a sneak peek for you coming right up. We have a few more things coming up in December. The 5th and 6th graders are going Christmas caroling on December 3rd. There are some basketball games coming up against Fairview, Schaeferstown, as well as Urban Lighthouse. On December 18th, we are having a basketball and volleyball game with Maranatha. That's going to be the guys playing basketball and the girls playing volleyball. On December 23rd, that's going to be a half day, and that's ending second quarter and starting Christmas vacation, which lasts all the way till January 4th. Also be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.